we are transforming ourselves right now from an automotive manufacturer to a mobility tech company. How has the BMW brand evolved over the last few years, over yes, those years? Yes, um, I mean, first of all, I have to say that the brand is over 100 years old. Huh? We celebrated um, three years ago in 2016 our 100 years um, uh, uh, birthdays um, uh, with a big, big celebration in our headquarters. So the brand evolved over the last uh, uh, I don't know, 10 decades, um, uh, but I, I think I would say significantly so and, and at a greater speed in the last decade. No? Okay. Uh, what we say is that actually in the next 10 years we are transforming ourselves right now from an automotive manufacturer to a mobility tech company. This is from a product portfolio, but also we changed and, and adapted from a, from a workforce. We are hiring much more engineers, um, um, not only in terms of um, research and development of, of engines, but also on, on mobility services, on, on AI, on, on all the elements that, that we see would, um, would contribute towards the successful future of, of the brand and of the company. BMW takes a very innovative approach when it comes to design. So um, the X5 design process comes to mind, you know. Can you share a little bit with the audience also the approach BMW takes yes. in that uh, space? First of all, again, we are very passionate about our designs. Huh? So uh, 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 this passion leads to the fact that there, there is a, a rigorous process behind it. Um, the process as follows. So you have, I think I don't know, a lot of people know that, but we have an internal competition of the designers. We design cars maybe six or seven years um, ahead. You know? So we need to anticipate the trends that are coming in six to seven years, which is very difficult. You know? so what kind of colors, what kind of materials, what kind of um, um, ergonomics, um, haptics in the car. Uh? Moving on to a uh, case, you mentioned uh, you, de you defined case. Yes. When we look at it in a Middle East context, yeah. you know, in the context of the region, we talk about data, we talk about connectivity, we talk about uh, just mobility as a solution. Uh, which one of those trends, because there's a lot of investment going on from yes. all OEMs around the world, yes. and BMW especially, uh, what, which of those trends do you see taking place or in the, sh in the near future in this region, yeah. uh, in those contexts? Yes, as a manufacturer, you have to have an answer in all of these elements. So we call it ACES, as I said, automated driving, connectivity, electrification, and shared services. As a manufacturer, uh, regardless who you are, you have to have an answer for that because these are the four mega trends in the automotive industry. No? In the Middle East, I would say from, from all the four elements, two are, pre are actually dominant right now. One is the shared services. I mean, you had um, the Ubers and the Kareems here, in, in, um, uh, especially in, in UAE and the, in the MENA region. And the second thing that I would see here is um, starting to, um, uh, to be talked about and starting to be implemented is electrification, no? led by especially by the Dubai government, uh, where um, there were announcements that a certain percentage of the government fleet uh, to start with should be electrified, uh, be it a hybrid or full electric. Um, I mean, the government takes really a, a, a very pioneering first step into that direction, where we as the manufacturer, like uh, as BMW, we are able to supply those. Uh, electric cars. So, for example, I don't know, not a lot of people know, we already had the first hybrids in, in 2009. Uh, so, when I was here as a product manager, I introduced the, the 7 Series and the X6 hybrid at that time. Uh. A lot of the OEMs are partnering with each other, in, including uh, BMW. So, it'd be interesting to find out how significant is the partnership with other OEMs and also with the tech companies, because yes. a lot of tech companies are being you know, sought after from the from the OEMs. Yes, uh, uh, correct. I mean, partnerships are key. I mean, um, as I mentioned, the next ten years in automotive industry will be uh, more disruptive uh, than the last hundred years, which means um, uh, time is key, uh, time and cost. And uh, this you only can do if you if you really partner. So partnerships with BMW are getting uh, more important um, um, or more importance in the future. So basically, what does it mean? So if you partner with uh, one of the other OEMs, so let's take our partnership with uh, Daimler. Uh, so we have one partnership that is going on where we uh, um, uh, look into a, a joint research and development of the next generation um, um, drive, um, automated driving uh, technology. 
But for the diehard BMW fans, yes. it's not going to change the characteristics, no, no. the brand DNA, the way the vehicle feels. Exactly. It's a uh, uh, joy of, of driving. Uh, uh, it's the sheer pleasure of driving. That will remain um, uh, as, it, uh, as it is as a core. So we will um, hold on to that. We are focusing on that one. This is our strength. I want to talk about the next maybe five years or ten years, yeah. especially in this part of the world. And in particular, what does that mean to both the, your dealer importer network, but also more importantly to the, to the consumer side? Yes. Um, I mean, we have uh, uh, great partners here in the region. Uh, we have, uh, I think, right, uh, 14 partners in 12 countries. Uh, most of the partners have been with us for many decades, uh, some of them for I would say even 60 years, yeah, and the youngest ones, I would say 10, 15 years. Um, so um, uh, we at BMW, we value and cherish long-term partnerships. Um, for the customers, we see changing habits. Uh, customer, consumer patterns are changing. They're changing all over the world. Yes. I have to say they're changing faster here uh, uh, because we have a very young and dynamic customer base here. Uh, um, we have uh, people who are who love cars, are really passionate about cars, who uh, drive um, the newest cars, the newest trends at a very early age. So they are actually very demanding in, 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 in the requirements that they have. So for us, it's a, it's a very, very um, uh, great playground also to, to, to test things, uh, to really, if we have a new um, app, if you have new technologies um, that you would like to uh, use and utilize, yeah, we would rather do it here because we get really strong feedback from the customers here. Yeah. Automotive is um, uh, very interesting and will be very interesting because at the end we are at the, at the edge of technology. Yeah. So whatever you see uh, um, uh, maybe coming out in five or six years in the mass, we as BMW, we, are, uh, we were the ones who did it first.